new book, Nature, Craft and Play, that follows the whole year round and is packed full of science experiments, craft projects, art projects and gardening ideas to help kids get really up close with nature and to have lots of fun. So we've written this book because we're massive fans of the benefits and the power of nature, craft and play for kids. Um, we've seen with our own kids just what a fantastic resource it can be in terms of boosting physical and mental well-being. Um, and we just really want to spread the word to as many people as possible. And the book's a brilliant way of doing that. So we can get across that there's lots of fun, low cost activities that parents can do and families can do to get kids outside and active and, and get them exploring nature. Absolutely, and there's so many benefits to nature, craft and play. As Catherine said, it's low cost. Often it's free, which is brilliant for families. Mm -hmm. It's abundant. It's there whether you live in the city or in the countryside, you'll always be able to find a bit of green space. It doesn't have to be your garden. It changes with the season, so it's always interesting. You know, there's always something new to find. And of course, it's really environmentally friendly to craft and play with nature. Um, things go, there's no need for landfill, things just go back to nature, mm. which is brilliant. And we've learned that kids who connect with nature when they're young grow up to protect nature. And of course, our planet absolutely needs that to happen. Definitely. So the format of the book is um, as a, an activity for every week of the year. It's designed for kids to craft and play along with the seasons. So you can pick it up at any time of year and there'll be a whole section of activities that are relevant to what's going on in nature right now for you um, with loads of different ideas to, to get outside and have a bit of fun. So we're just going to share a few of our favourite activities from the book. Do you want to start? Yeah, so my favourite activity in the book is to make your own paintbrushes out of what you find. So you just need some sticks and then you attach to the ends some flower heads perhaps or a feather and you can use them as paintbrushes. And you can also make your own paints which is loads of fun. As you can see here, these are the paintbrushes. But your own paints, which are, I believe are on the go. next page, can be made from all sorts of things. These were made from strawberries, mud, um, some mint and spinach and some dandelions. So yeah, painting with nature is probably my favourite activity yeah. in the book. Really, yeah. really creative. Um, another one that we really enjoyed doing and that my kids have always enjoyed through the years is journey sticks. And that's a fab one for if you are out on a walk and you want to make it a bit more interesting, tempt them to go a bit further. It's got its origins in um, sort of Aboriginal culture um, where people would use a stick and tie natural um, materials to it to help tell a story of a route or a map, a bit like mapping a journey basically, it's really cool. And kids can and sort of take that inspiration and collect treasures on the way on a walk, tie it onto your stick, and then you've got a story to tell about the journey you've just taken. Um, and we've also got really simple ideas for ways for little ones to do it as well, which are these cool nature postcards. Um, so you just need a bit of sticky tape for these rather than a stick. Um, you don't have to do any complicated knotting. Um, and you just put your nature treasures on there and they're really, Really lovely, aren't they? And what's fab about these is that everyone who's been on that walk or that nature show will have a different journey stick yeah. or a different postcard because we all have an individual experience of nature. So that's a lovely thing yeah. to share. And they look gorgeous on display, they don't really they? They really do. Bring yeah, journey sticks, fantastic. And you could do the same walk every season and make a different journey stick um, at different times of year. And that's really nice to help kids sort of track the seasons and understand what changes in nature. Definitely. Yeah. Another thing I really love that we have in the book is some upcycling projects. And that's to get kids out in the garden, realising you can use lots of different things as planters. We've actually got um, a project where you use wellies, some old wellies as planters, and even upcycle an old colander. So that, that's great. And it's good for kids to realise that they can be resourceful and use what they already have, that we don't always need to buy things. You know, so yeah, I love the upcycling yeah. projects we've used. They're great. And there's a few science experiments in there too. So one of the, the ones that we focus on is all about trees. Um, and how amazing they are in terms of looking after the planet and also for investigating and exploring. So we've got ways to measure the height and the age of a tree, so clever little tricks for kids to have a go at, and also encouraging them to do something like forest bathing, which is very much a mindful activity that can really help with feelings of calm and get them chilled out and get them in engaging with nature in a really peaceful way. It doesn't always have to be about making stuff. It can be very much about just embracing what's out there and enjoying yourself. Just being. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's proven, isn't it, that daylight you know, produces vitamin D, boosts kids' immunity, 
but also boost their mood. So getting them out amongst the trees out in the daylight is excellent for their health and well-being as well. Is that everything we're going to share? I think, I think it is, isn't it? You want to just share your clay oh, pressing though, yes. Catherine, which is just the most gorgeous That's a project. Bring in one we made earlier. So this, this is, is a really simple one. This with basically, if you collect your nature treasures out on a walk, you can come home and press them into air drying clay, um, and then you can either paint them or leave them plain if you want to. But it's a really fab way of creating a lovely rustic decoration to bring a bit of nature indoors. Isn't that fantastic? Really? We love that one. It's amazing what you can do with sticks and stones and amazing. flowers, isn't it? So this is our book, A Year of Nature, Craft and Play. It's published by the ever fabulous Harper Collins, and it is out now. So do get your hands on a copy. You'll find something to do every week of the year that follows all the seasons through and uses what all the treasures that nature has given us. Mm -hmm.